Let me know for real. He just checked in upstairs. Let me love you, yeah! And drink some more whiskey. That's it. This is a guy that got up every day, put his boots on, and played rock and roll. And you know, who's going to take that spot? You know, no one. What do you think it is that kept Lemmy going? His love for music. Do you think that um, that they might run into Jack Daniels on this trip tonight? Oh uh, yeah, I think, I think I think they get a. I think they might be prepared. The Rainbow's always prepared. I'm sure they were expecting a lot of Jack and Coke, which is now called the Lemmy, uh, to be served tonight. I've had a few already, and I'm pretty buzzed from it. Hi, I'm Jasmine St. Clair, and we're here in West Hollywood at the Rainbow Bar and Grill for the most metal moment of the evening. Actually, the most metal moment of the year. Exactly. We're here for the unveiling of the Lemmy statue, which is one of the biggest, most metal things in the world. And I can't wait to see this because, like a lot of us, Lemmy touched me in many ways. I had a really long-standing friendship with him, so to see him immortalized like this is awesome. <laughs> The first time I met him, which was my favorite, was here, believe it or not. That's what's so crazy about all this coming to fruition, was that I was upstairs one day drinking, and I saw him, and I said, Ian. And he, he looked at me all crazy, like, you know my real name? And I'm like, yeah, Ian. And he goes, yeah, what? And I go, what are you doing here? And he goes, I just moved here. Did you ever meet Lemmy? Yeah, a couple times here. Uh, super nice guy. That's the best way to describe him. Yeah, one of the nicest people. Yeah. The nicest uh, rock star I ever met. Carrie. And have you ever met him? Yes, more than once. What was that like? Uh, it's a nice party. Oh, I'm sure <laughs> it's always, it was. It's always a good time. Yeah. Have any of you ever met Lemmy before? No, I've never met him. I did about a year ago. It was around January, beginning of 2000. 16 he was over by his usual spot playing his game and uh, his his bodyguard or his manager was saying Scott? Yep, he was saying that uh, like all right guys we'll play one more game and like you know 30 minutes went by He's like all right guys one more game and then he'll talk and do autographs and then uh, Sign my arm like don't mind my crappy tattoo, but uh, unfortunately I was gonna get it tatted But he was like I don't want to ruin your tattoo man. And I'm like I don't care man. You're a legend to me man Go ahead and sign it and he's like you're amazing man when was the last time you actually had any contact with Lemmy prior to it? Uh, it was right before the Love Ride a couple years ago. We kind of crashed his party here on the patio. Did you? What'd you do? <laughs> well, uh, he had a party and we decided to have a party and uh, they just kind of mixed together, you know. And it was cool. He, he opened his arms and said, come on in. The funniest thing that Lemmy ever said to me was my birthday and uh, we were here at the Rainbow, of course. And I think, like, there's this girl who was probably about four times you and I put together. And she's comes up to us, she's like, oh, my baby really wants to meet you. And he's like, God's an awfully huge baby. It was <laughs> funny, it's just totally Lemmy. Okay. I actually got the pleasure of meeting Lemmy yeah, nice here question. at the Rainbow. And how was that? Phenomenal. How many Jack and Cokes did you have? I personally didn't have any. Okay. Because he was actually walking out when I was going in. But okay. he had the, you know, he stopped and said hi, and it was really awesome. It was really cool, because that was towards the end when he was not doing too well. Yeah. So it was great to have a chance to talk to him and see him. This is my Danzig tattoo. Yeah, this is my fucking Slayer tattoo. I need to have a motorhead tattoo. I should get him back yeah, in Yeah, you should actually, no, what you should do is go across the street and get a motorhead tattoo. That's where is it? Tattoo. Where, where? Right there, right Shamrock? There. I don't know if they'll tattoo you because you're drunk. Like I said, it's like Wayne's World. I'm about to get a motorhead tattoo right now. So I'm standing here with this gorgeous woman named Sonia Harley. She's like sponsored by Harley Davidson, which is pretty cool. Thanks for talking to me. So tell us your relation with the whole Motorhead thing, because I know you played on the motorboat. Yeah, I did actually. Um, well, I just got really, really blessed to be a part of it, you know, and um, doing the UDR showcase um, with Libby and, and Todd and playing the showcase, and then from there played Motorboat, which was so freaking great. I'm originally from Boise, Idaho, so this is like like the best gift that you know any musician can have. So, where are you from? I'm from Annapolis, Maryland, actually. Really? Yeah, we actually flew out for this. Did you? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. You've got a good girlfriend to like fly out here. That's my wife. That's your wife? Yes. You look like way too young to be married. <laughs> Thank you. You don't look like married, like you guys look happy. So, where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Oh, você fala português também. Como se chama você? Gabriel. Gabriel. Você é baiano ou São Paulo Bangui? Não, eu sou de Curitiba, do Sul. Ah, Curitiba. Veja, a sepultura do Brasil. Yeah. What do you think Lemmy means to the world of metal? Rock and roll. And just in general. I mean, he's just he's pure rock and roll. He was a pure rock star from, you know, through and through. And he never had an ego. He was never too big. I mean, he lived right across the street from the Rainbow. Yes. 
he'd hang out here drinking. I mean, he was just a normal guy. It was awesome. Now, is this, is this your first time at the Rainbow? No, I was here last night, actually. There was a tribute for Ultimate Jam Night at the Whiskey and Bogo. Okay. So he came here afterwards to, you know, honor Lemmy. And, so. and where are you guys from originally? Um, I'm from here. Uh, yeah. Go to MI down the street, Musicians Institute. That's pretty badass. Lemmy well, would be really, really touchy, even though I think he's a little, uh, uh, he would never really want his tattoo erected in, but now that it is, and all the love out here, I'm sure Lemmy is up there looking down and going, man. I did, I did good because of all the love he gets back. And he always was really good to the fans. He truly did. He's one of the few rock stars that really looked out for the fans. I mean, if you were fucking with Libby's fans, you'd have to answer to him and it wouldn't be pretty. I can't believe you made this happen, Kate. Kate DePena, hi Yeah. It's, 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 I'm beside myself right now. And it's also great because all of these Motorhead fans have showed up to show their respect. And, and just the support, like, thank you as well. She's been supporting metal longer than most. That's yes, all I gotta say. That's for sure. But I'm happy, and I'm just happy that the Motorhead world is here today to celebrate the statue. For the first time it's been re it's unveiled right now. So I haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna get over there in a second. But thank you for the support, and just thank you to all the Motorhead fans. It's awesome. Well, some of you watching this, you don't know this, but Peyton's actually the one. Aside from singing in high raps. He's the one that organized this whole thing with the statue, with the GoFundMe. How did you come up with this idea? I just, after Lemmy passed away, the next day I got up and I was just like, man, he should have a statue at this place. He, you know, this was his favorite place. And so I posted it and it caught fire. I wasn't even thinking like that. I just thought people thought I was crazy. But then there was like, all of a sudden there's like 5,000 people that were in it. Then we did a, a, a like a... Like the whole thing where you just put it up there and you have a, a petition. We did yeah. a petition and then another 10,000 people signed it. And then I got a phone call from the Rainbow and they're like, hey, run with it, man. We, we, they were 100% into it too. And the Rainbow loved Lemmy. So it's like the perfect combination of everybody that was a fan or knew him or just like had some kind of connection to Motorhead. So that's what this is all about. And the best thing I feel about it is that the fans made it happen. I mean, I came up with the idea, that's cool, whatever. But yeah. The fans got behind it, and that just shows you how great Lemmy was and how much his fans loved him. So this is a great day for heavy metal. Yes. It's a great day for everybody. Uh, once the campaign started, uh, and Mike and them made it known that they would host the, the statue and give it a home, uh, there was a post that went out, and I'd already heard for about a month they were talking about doing it anyway. And since I'm already tight with these guys and done art for them before in the past, I've done commission stuff for Michael, for Mikey, for the Bo, for the Rainbow, and um, you know for other rock stars through them. So I put my name out there and said, "Hey, can I help in this in some way, just to help?" And uh, Mikey gave me a call, and uh, he's like, "Hey, man, see what you can do. Call some people." And I started looking, and eventually I realized that probably the best solution would be if I did it. And I proposed that, and there was other people and. I won out in the, in the you know, in all the competition for the proposals, and ultimately, uh, I got teamed up with a really fabulous foundry, and all of us all started doing it together. I mean, there's like 20 people that worked on this thing besides really? me. Really? Oh, yeah. That's going to be I'm standing here with one of the masterminds behind the statue, Travis Moore. Travis, how are you tonight? I'm doing excellent. I've been waiting on this for about six months. It took six months to do this? We started uh, February 13th. So we're over five, heading for six. What was it like doing this? Was it like I mean, surreal? Yeah, <laughs> surreal. It's one of our icons. I was it. Is it an actual life size statue? Oh yeah. Oh, you'll wow. be able to stand it. It's just it's gonna look just like him. I, I'm very proud of what we got done. We accomplished something that normally it takes you know a year or two to do. Number one, and like you know a hundred thousand dollars or more. Yeah. And because of the fans, because of the Magnary family because of the people that were involved, the other artists, the foundry, uh, the, all the craftsmen, like like Pascal Daga that did boots oh, yeah. uh, okay. for Lemmy. I went to Lemmy's boot maker, Pascal, and sat down with him and actually took pictures of the boots. So we got the stitching right. So we got the heel right. So we got the, 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 the every little intricate detail of his design is right. So we did all of that. We made sure the hair's right. We made sure the mole's right. We're, it's not a joke, you know, because this guy is so important. We have to make it that realistic. 
and you can see the response, and they haven't even seen it yet. What's it made of anyway? Bronze. Bronze, Bronze it weighs over 300 pounds. Holy shit. Six foot, it's over, a little bit over six foot one with the base, and uh, weighs, like I said, 300 pounds. Let it's me. amazing, and it's patinaed, and when you see it, it's gonna, it looks like him. I mean, it looks like him. So I think they did an excellent job. Matt Glenn, big statues, excellent job. And we put it in a beautiful shrine. Gary Reed built a beautiful shrine. And uh, it's befitting the gentleman that's being honored with it. It's that beautiful. <laughs> For Lemmy in heavy metal heaven, what would it be? I got a bottle for you. If you had a message to send to Lemmy in heavy metal heaven, what would it be? You will continue to live through everyone that you impacted. What kind of message would you have for Lemmy if you were to like die right now? Let's fucking party. Let's party? Yeah, let's party. Let's party. What would your message be to Lemmy in heavy metal heaven? Um, I would just buy him a drink. <laughs> buy him a drink yeah. in heaven? And what kind of currency do they use? I don't know, some kind of, I don't know. <laughs> I get him a drink, one way okay. or another, yeah. Have a drink with Lemmy, yeah. What about you? Get him a drink and get drunk as fuck and play some amazing metal music. You? Tell him to keep fucking rocking. Et vous say. I would thank him because he created the reason that we're all here today. And do you have a message for Lemmy in Heavy Metal Heaven if you were there? Oh yeah, hey, thanks for the opportunity, brother. Love you, man. And um, if you were in Heavy Metal Heaven, what would you say to Lemmy? I would say, bro brother, it's good to see you again. I'm, 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 I'm glad I'm one of the few people that can say Lemmy was a friend of mine. Yeah. And he'd be a, hey, Dan, how you doing? And what he'd say if he saw me. Friend, and we all miss you. Love you. And he'd say, what's up with that fucking hat? Yep, and he was down to earth. And that's the, the greatest thing, too, is that he was so down to earth for being such a legend. So this is for Lemmy. All this yes. is for Lemmy. We love you, Lemmy, and if we were in heavy metal heaven with you, we'd be drinking Jack and Coke. Yes, he would. Ah. Cheers. Cheers. What kind of message do you have for Lemmy if you were in heavy metal heaven? Like, if, if I, I were to push you in front of one of those cars and you were to die and you met up with Lemmy, what would you say? What would I say? Yes, what would you say? Speechless, because Lemmy cannot compare to anybody, right? Lemmy, if he saw all this, this whole line of people, he would have said, fuck all you guys. Get this fucking shit up. Lemmy's the shit, hey. I grew up with more than Iron Man and Black Sabbath, you know? I can't even say anything anymore. <laughs>